Welcome to Alex Trulich's Magic Submitter Software. I'm David Sprague and I'll be teaching you how to set up your items in this training series and specifically we'll be talking about how to set up your WordPress blog items. Now I get the question a lot, what's the difference between a WordPress blog and a regular blog? Well, a WordPress blog is simply a blog directory that was set up through WordPress itself. WordPress has some amazing plugins that can literally turn a simple WordPress installation into an entire blog directory just like Google's Blogspot and the other major blogs like Hubmotion or or others like that so what we're gonna do is was is take you through step by step exactly how to fill out your WordPress blog items which again isn't much different from the other blog strategies or blog items that we've gone through but WordPress has some very specific things that are unlike anything else number one is if you have played around with WordPress blogs you realize that a WordPress blog actually sends a very unique username and password. Well, you know, if you sign up for a hundred different WordPress blogs, that means you got to put that username or that unique password inside Magic Submitter. But you don't, because Magic Submitter will automatically go when you actually create your account. It will go into your email. It will take that unique password out and actually automatically put it in. Unlike all the other items that are out there, or all the other things you can submit accounts create you can use the same password for every single account so for example if you're setting up your video accounts you can use this if you're using the password ABCDEFG you can use the same password ABCDEFG for all your accounts setting up not true with WordPress WordPress actually sends you in your email specifically the password that they're gonna allow you to use so the great thing about Magic Submitter is that it's so incredibly smart is we'll go in and actually grab that password out of your email and automatically put it in to the password area so that every time that you submit your article or your blog or your post to the WordPress sites it'll submit it without any problems whatsoever because it automatically sets it up for you with the password so let's jump in right now to take a look at what Magic Submitter does with WordPress blogs so I've got Magic Submitter open. You can see I've got it tuned into WordPress blogs and you can see down here there are 137 right now. That's 137 backlinks with just a click of your mouse and submitting your content. Now also advantage of WordPress blogs, it allows you to put more than one or two links in. Matter of fact, WordPress blogs allow you to put two or three links in. But if you want to standardize things, I want to caution you not to actually change things up too much. If you review the article training or the blog training that we did a little earlier uh, in the in the uh, training series, you'll notice that you really don't want to spend the time switching back and forth between articles and blogs and blogs and articles and putting uh, your your article your links inside your body or creating resource boxes. You really want to do one specific format, and that format is your blog article. At the end, put a resource box or your links at the end. Don't intermittently put your links throughout the uh, the article itself. Again, you can do that. I'm just trying to give you an idea of specifically how to set up a system so that you can copy and paste your way to getting a tremendous amount of authority and backlinks. So let's jump in right now. You can see here that all these, look at all these sites. It's incredible. Now, what's also important too is duplicate content. So you want to make sure that you're spinning your titles your your uh, and your summaries your content or your articles so what you want to do to start submitting your item is click on manage items and simply since we've already clicked on WordPress blogs you can see it's already defaulted here click the plus sign and let's go over each one of these areas first of all you've got your project name at the top project is a powerful feature that you can organize all your articles videos content anything you want regarding um, what you're doing so you can what I typically do is actually set up my projects is clients or niches so if I'm going after the diet niche I'll say you know all these articles are under diet or if I'm, I've got a client called you know Acme I would you know create an Acme as a project and then I would put my articles under that client so great way to keep everything organized now I'm naturally going to assume that you've already registered for all these accounts and if they you register for all the accounts let me just uh, click on the and let me go to the article directory so you can see here just like the article directories 
when you register for all your WordPress sites, you'll see that there'll be a checkbox on the right hand side here. So I'm assuming you've already done that for your WordPress blogs. And now that when you click on items and you create a new item, you can see here on the right hand side, you should have all those green check marks. And when you have those green check marks, what you want to do is the next thing you want to do is make sure you set up all your categories. So you'll go inside and you'll choose, let's say, let's say we're doing business. This looks, um, now if you want, when you've got all these categories right here, what you can do is simply do a search and you can filter by and look for business. So you can see, oh, business doesn't come up. We can do um, entertain education. Alright, didn't come up either. Alright, I see one film, so let me just use it so you can say type in film and you can filter, you can see it comes up. So instead of having to scroll and read everything, you can type in your major keywords to do a quick search or a quick find. So let's say this is about film and we'll go to the next one and we'll type in like you can see film here too. So you want to get all your categories set up. And the great thing about Magic Submitter is it allows you to create category templates. And so what you're going to do is simply click this download link or save categories, the one with a little arrow, and you're going to put in like a movie categories for WordPress sites. And click save. Now what's going to happen, I'm just going to click out of this. And I'm going to reopen it up and you can see there's nothing there. And then what I want to do is upload. Oops, I got to fill in all this information real quick. And you can see movie categories for WordPress. And those will actually appear here on the right hand side. See, just like that. So you can set it up once and you have to worry about it. It's one click away from setting it all up again. So now the next thing you want to do is fill in your post title. Now again, if you, you want to use spun content as much as possible, and if you don't understand spun technology, you can actually go to the first video in this training series. It teaches step-by-step -step how to create great spun content. So you want to put your spun title in. You want to put a summary in. And a summary is simply a, a few sentences about what the article is about or what the blog post is about. And make sure you always give a benefit statement. And then you've got your post body and then your keywords as well. And when it comes to the body, remember you can put your your keywords in there. You can use actually anchor text if you like, or you can use links if you like, but I strongly recommend you keep one format, put no links at all in your body, Make just make sure that you actually put all your links at the very end. Therefore, you the same article that you submit, you can use it in your blogs, you can use it in your WordPress uh, blogs as well. So it's very easy to copy and paste one article and do the exact same thing over and over and over again. Now the last feature I want to share with you is the random profile. Now under random profile it gives you the ability to choose between different profiles to submit to. So instead of just choosing one profile it will submit to multiple ones. So for instance the first one this Kinyor would go let's say it would submit with Bob's account then the next one article might sit with Ken's account. The next one might go with Steve's account. The next one might go back to Ken. And so it randomly chooses between all these account profiles to submit to. So the powerful feature in that is, is that it's going to hide the footprint. And Google actually takes away and doesn't cr give you credit for a lot of links because most people will submit under the same profile, using the same IP address, and using the same content. And that's why when you can send out 100 links, you might only get credit for one or two of them. So this is a great way to ensure that the links that you do send out, you get credit for and authority on. So again, let me just review it real quick. You want to make sure that you organize your project. Make sure you put your spun content in. Make sure that you create all your categories. Make sure you've created all your accounts and categories. And then if you've got a few um, profiles you want to choose from, you can actually click choose random profiles. If you don't choose this, what's going to happen is it will actually just choose the profile that you've already selected, which right now is the Ken one. So it'll submit to the Ken one unless I choose those random profiles there. So that's how you use a WordPress blog, incredibly powerful, or 137 for you to send out right now. And since you can actually sit, use two links in a WordPress blog and even up to three links in a WordPress blog, that's not 137 links. That could be two, even 300 links that you get back 
with just one click of a mouse and using Magic Submitter. So jump in, start using your WordPress blog feature. We use it every single day with our clients, and it's a very, very powerful strategy to use for backlinking. Take care, and we'll see you in the next training.